We've waited 141 days, holding our breath, hoping to get hoops once again. While Staples Center has been the mecca of basketball this year, all eyes are on Orlando as the NBA restart unfolds. Tonight, two teams from L.A. look to make every second count. Sports are about seconds. Got it. And inches. Did you see that? In the blinks of an eye. Got it. That is what separates champions from everyone else. That is what writes history and rewrites it in our very lifetime. A second more, an inch less. So close. There was a time when everything stood still. The game tonight has been postponed. Through the cracks came light. And then everything became clear. 2020. Someday it will be just the blink of an eye. How humbling to think that what, at the time, felt like an eternity was only a single tick of the clock in the distance we've traveled together. We are separated by nearly nothing. We are in pursuit of the same goal. The sleep lost and the memories made are for keeps. This city has gone absolutely wild. That is yours forever. Because the beating of your heart, the adrenaline in your veins, the fight in your eye, is why we made it. Back to the field, to the court, and the ice. To write history. We're back. Because time never stops. And neither do we. Our story officially continues. We are in downtown Los Angeles, just outside of Staples Center, but we head into the bubble and the campus of Disney World for the restart of the 2019-2020 season. When we last met, Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers had won their 44th game of the season and were rounding into form. The same could be said about LeBron James and the Lakers. They are just a few wins away from clinching the number one seed out west. The NBA wasted no time pitting two title favorites against one another on this opening night. As we, as we welcome you inside our studios just outside of Staples Center, I'm Brian Seaman alongside former Finals MVP Chauncey Billups. Chauncey, it is great to see you, <laughs> but just as important, it's just great to have basketball back. Well, it is. I think the one thing, well, so many things we took for granted uh, in this country, but the right to be entertained missing sports missing shows anything while we were quarantining i'm so happy to have this game back it's unbelievable so the nba as i said wastes no time and puts yeah. two of the best teams in the nba together and the two best duos in the league of course talking about Kawhi leonard and paul george yeah. LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Kawhi Leonard reigning finals MVP gets us kicked off here tonight. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we, we have a treat ahead of us. I mean, the two, absolutely the two best duos. But this guy here, I just, it just seems like every time Kawhi is on the floor with LeBron, with Giannis, he's looking to show the world that he's the best player in the world. And, you know, tonight will be no different. Yes, guys have been off. But guess what? These guys have been working on them games. They've been getting healthy. I'm looking for Kawhi to have a huge night and set the tone. His quiet leadership will be on display tonight. What should concern the rest of the league is that Paul George now feels healthy. Man, that's a great point. I'm telling you, I mean, you know, four months off, Brian, that, that's like an entire offseason. And he has some nagging shoulder injuries. Paul George, I, I've spoken to him. He tells me, Chance, I'm, I'm feeling great. I really am. I mean, I, I don't have to even rehab anymore. I don't have to be concerned. 
with being hit anymore. I'm looking for Paul George to be the Paul George that finished third in the MVP voting last year. A year ago, many people thought that maybe LeBron James at the time, 34 years of age, was washed. He has been anything but. You mentioned short list of MVPs. He's on it. <laughs> yes, he is, and he's not far off the top. But I tell you what, I wasn't one of those people that thought he was washed. I mean, I, I learned my lesson a long time ago to do never, never doubt this guy. I mean, LeBron James is one of the best we've ever seen lace him up. I mean, he's still playing at a very high level. He keeps himself in impeccable shape. You know, he's just a professional. He takes care of his body. He takes care of his diet. And that's why he's playing so well at such an advanced age. He'll be looking to make an imprint on this game as well um, with, with Kawhi Leonard on the other side, understanding and knowing that these two teams will see each other later. It did not take long for LeBron and Anthony Davis to find a synergy. They have been terrific all year. Brian, this is a generational talent right here. I mean, Anthony Davis, I mean, he, he is like a unicorn. I mean, he, he, he really can't be guarded. I think the Clippers will do a great job of game planning and scheming and using double teams because you have to. I mean, he's just too good offensively and defensively. You have to find a way to attack him. Maybe try to get him in foul trouble a little bit, but he's a special talent. This is a matchup that could be a conference finals preview. And because of that, we're going to bring in our third <laughs> member of our broadcast team, Miss Christina Pink. Well, thank you, Brian. It is time for the NBA restart, reset, and, well, of course, rewriting one of the best rivalries in the NBA, no matter when or where it is. Clippers-Lakers is always a marquee matchup. When they are playing inside this building behind me, Staples Center, you can feel the buzz well before tip-off. And even though tonight it's bubble basketball, PG, Paul George, is still anticipating the same energy. I think it's a great way to kick off our restart. Um, match us up against uh, possibly who will be uh, our biggest rival, our biggest uh, competitors um, to reach our biggest goal um, of this season. Um, I think it's a great way to kick this thing off, um, especially for the fans to get a glimpse of uh, what this will be with two top heavyweights. Um, we're excited for it. We're thriving in this moment, and um, we're ready to get this thing started. Well, yes, and the Lakers have the same mindset going into this game. Just moments ago, Frank Vogel telling the media in Orlando that this is a big game because we expect to see these guys later on in the postseason. This is a measuring stick for the Lakers. It is a battle of two of the biggest stars in the NBA, and I cannot wait to see it. The Claw, Kawhi Leonard. I know you guys have missed him. Can't wait to see him on the court tonight versus LeBron James. Next.